There's a small, inconspicuous building called Porrick Willowsby & Co. in the industrial district of Birmingham, UK. Most of the time, its doors are locked and the windows are draped. However, on February 29th of every leap year, there will be a small plastic container outside the front door containing business cards. On the front of the card, it will say in large capital letters, Porrick Willersby & Co. England's Thermaturgical Specialists. On the back, in nearly illegible small type, it says, The Blood of the Innocent. Any night after midnight, one can come to poor Rick Willowsby and co and slide their card through the door and the door will instantly unlock. Inside, there is an empty room with white walls. No light reaches this room except for a small sliver from the other end of the room. When you approach this room, you will find that it is actually another door. When you knock on it, a voice will ask, what makes a man become exalted? And you must respond with the phrase on the back of the cart, the blood of the innocent. The door will open and you will come into another room, a kind of lounge. Inside it, you will find around five to ten people, depending on the night, sitting around, smoking and drinking brandy, all in late Edwardian period dress. There is absolutely no conversation at all in this room, and it is nearly silent, except for the phonograph, which plays the exact same record over and over, ad infinitum. If you attempt to speak to one of the patrons, they will promptly ignore you and pretend as if you were not there. Towards the south wing of the room, you will find a large round table, slightly different from the others. On it will be a quill pen and a document. The document shows all of your personal information. Name, birth date, place of residence, criminal record, greatest fears, and so on. At the bottom of the document is a long line that asks for your signature. No one knows what happens if you sign it. Warning, the following broadcast is for viewers with nerves of steel. Wonder Dust Film Studio presents to you, this February 29th, a creature so mysterious, so disturbing, you'll be hiding under your covers when you go to sleep tonight. Swamp Dweller There is a moment each leap year at exactly 3 minutes past 3 on the morning of February 29th. If you possess the courage, await that moment in a darkened room, with no other present. At that moment, the darkness will deepen. If you were to hold your hand directly before your face, you would not see a thing. But you must not do so. No. For that would be to waste the moment. Instead, you must reach out into that impenetrable darkness, and it will reach out to you. An unseen hand will grasp yours. You must not flinch away, nor tighten your grasp. 
To do so will only slow away more of the decrepit flesh that covers it, and anger its unseen owner. Remain perfectly still as the withered fingers move over your palm, tracing unknown patterns. Do not move an inch as it crawls slowly up your arm, and most of all, do not even breathe as it caresses your face, touching what cannot be seen. Should you remain still through this, the hand will be withdrawn and a voice will speak, so close you can feel its breath on your face. Smell the scent of decay it carries. It will ask you one simple piece of information. Your name. Answer truthfully. Answer truthfully, and the presence will retreat, leaving only a whisper in the air as darkness lifts. It is done. From that day on, untold good fortune will be yours, and mysterious power. You will lack nothing, and have everything. But in a year, perhaps two, you will feel your skin begin to decay, and smell the sweet smell of death upon your breath. We interrupt your regularly scheduled host to bring you this special story. The writer of Killing My Childhood Monster was easier than I thought. Nerdcore Creep narrates a ritual creepypasta on this February the 29th. There is another universe, a lot like ours. Entrances to it are scattered throughout the world in the places where the most psychological energy gathers. Schools, hospitals, those kinds of places. During any leap year, on February 28th, this is the period of abnormal astral activity which opens the doors. At exactly midnight, the minute between the 28th and 29th, if you are lucky, or unlucky enough, to be by one of these doors, it will open and beckon you. In this other universe, things are mostly the same, except all love and hate relationships are reversed. Your worst enemy is your lover, your best friend is out to kill you, those kinds of things. It's a nice head trip, a good escape from this reality. Have fun, but remember, if you enter, you are stuck there, until the next leap year. Please share any of the experiences you have in the comments, or simply message me. <laughs>